My name is Dr. Afman Sef Samzugi. I'm an instructor in OLM 101, uh, which is Introduction to Library with an Information Science. First and foremost, I'd like to congratulate you all for your wise decision to join with the Open University to pursue a degree program uh, in library and information uh, science. I know there is a number of institutions in, in, in your country which are offering uh, the same course, but you decided to come to the Open University. There is a reason uh, behind uh, your choice. And uh, we guarantee you, we assure you that uh, we will work together so that uh, you can realize uh, your dream. Uh, today, uh, the first lecture today is on introduction uh, to library and the information science. Uh, this lecture will introduce you to the basic concepts uh, on library and information science. It will also provide you with an overview of terms and concepts used in library and information science. We expect at the end of this lecture, you should be able to understand the terms and concepts of library and information science. You should also be able to describe the concepts of library and information science, but also to differentiate with, between these two terms, library and information science. Library science uh, is a made of two of two terms. We have we have library science. and information, information science. So, when you make these two terms, you get library and information science. Are we together? Uh, library science basically deals on how to operate the library. That is uh, basically the function of library science. Or in other words, we can say that they are the principles and the practices of library operation and the administration of libraries. It deals with the collection. To have a library, you need to have a collection. So the first thing, it deals with the collection. But when you have the collection, uh, the collection needs to be organized. After organization of the uh, organizing the information, then we have to preserve the information. And lastly, to disseminate the information. Now the question is, why should we collect the information? Why should we collect the information? I mentioned earlier that we need to collect information, and this serves uh, for the future generation. We save the info, we collect, uh, we, we collect the information in order uh, to assist the future uh, generation. But also, but also, we collect information in order to make it easy for users to, to access it. Then there is a question of organizing the information. Organizing the information. We have started with collection. Then, sorry, we are, there is a process of pro a processing of information. Why, are we, why should we process information? We process information in order to make it easy to retrieve uh, the information. Basically, uh, if you don't process the information, it's like as if you are in a jungle. 
And if you are in a jungle, it, it won't be easy for users to know which information is required. Then uh, that's where the, 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 the issue of processing uh, comes on. Apart from uh, processing, we also need to preserve the information. We preserve the information in order, uh, first of all, uh, to save the coming generation, future generation, but also to prevent its damage. Uh, it is the past uh, which informs the, the future. So we are preserving the information in order, in order to save the future generation. And the last process, the last process is the dissemination of information. You can have information, but if that information is not used, then it is useless. It is useless. The information have value when it is, uh, it, it, it is used so that it can, it can have informed the decision making in the society or in the organization. Now, as you, the library science, uh, it contains or it has relation with other subjects. It covers disciplines such as the library and information science itself, uh, informatics, or records management, archival science, and the museum. Now, uh, we are repeating the same question. We are repeating the same question. Why should we collect uh, information? We say uh, we collect information uh, for future generation to prevent it from damage and also it is the past uh, which informs the, the, the future. So we are collecting it uh, for the future. On the issue of organization of information, the first thing is to make it easy, accessible, but also to save the time of users. Uh, Besides that, it helps to guide users to a relevant uh, information which is available in the library, but also it makes the library neat. And basically, library is supposed to, to be neat in order to attract uh, users. Uh, on, on dissemination part, we are disseminating information so that it can have uh, use in the society in solving the problem of the society, but it also used for educating the society. Now, let us move to another definition of information science. Information science. Information, information science, this is the science that deals with the gathering, again, gathering, like uh, collection, manipulation, classification, you classify the information, you store the information storage, and the retrieval of recorded knowledge by using different devices to help in handling of information. Again, you see the similarities between information science and library science because both of them, they deal with information, but both of them, they deal with gathering of information, manipulation of information, classification of information, storage of information. Uh, in the library science, they use uh, preservation, preservation, and retrieval of information. This retrieval is similar to dissemination of information. And both of them, they depend on recorded knowledge. But here, 
Uh, in addition, this one is using uh, devices to help in handling of information. So, with the development of ICT, uh, the function of manual systems has been enhanced by ICT. On the collection part, organization part, we have online public access catalogs. And the basically online public access catalog, it gives a bibliographical information of all resources uh, which are available in the library. In the past, uh, if you visit a library, you go to uh, the technical library, uh, library services, uh, you go to school libraries, you will find a very big cadets cabinet where there are cards arranged. So, uh, with the development of ICT, uh, that card catalog has been replaced by the online public access catalog. However, the functions of both remain the same. But this one has an advantage uh, compared to uh, card catalog. Simply because if you have a card, uh, online public access catalog, you can access it wherever you are, provided you have an internet uh, connectivity. So sometimes it is not necessary to visit the physical library. You can know what is available uh, in the library before visiting the physical library. Again, on storage, we discussed about the storage, that you have the information, you store it. Uh, we discussed about retrieval and dissemination of information. And again, with the development of ICT, now we have something which we call institutional repository. Institutional repository uh, have the function of storing the intellectual uh, output of an organization, like the Open University of Tanzania, because uh, if you visit our institutional repository, you will find a number of thesis and dissertations uh, which have been done and completed at the Open University of Tanzania. And this has made, has made it easy for our students uh, who are scattered all over the world to have access in full text of the thesis and dissertations which have been deposited uh, in our institutional poster. And the advantage is that it helps the stu students to know first how dissertation or thesis looks like. But another advantage is that it helps them uh, to learn, to learn uh, how people argue when writing uh, their uh, dissertations. But again, it helps in literature review. As Einstein put it, we all stand on sh the shoulders of the giants. So in order to write the dissertation, in order to do research, you have to consult the words of other people. So the institutional repository uh, helps in dissemination of information. For our case, all research output which are emanating from the university are available worldwide. And the good thing is that our repository has been supported by the book. So whenever you go, you get the publication uh, from the Open University of Tanzania. Now, we continue with the definition of information science. Uh, information science includes subjects such as computer science. Again, library science. Artificial intelligence, which is coming up now, is a, a, a new area of specialization. Mathematics of programming. Mathematics of programming. Now, when you look on these two definitions, library science and information science, uh, 
basically, there is no significant difference between them because they all deal with information. They all deal with information. But this one, uh, on the library information science, uh, it deals, is concerned with the uh, recordable information and knowledge. For example, how to access. Now, having defined the term library information science and their differences, now let us look into the following key terms, which are relevant in the field of library and information science. What is a library? A library means different things uh, to different people. Some they regard it as a store where publications are stored to some. Others they regard it as a place where people go and read different uh, uh, materials. And this is not incidental. For those who think that library is a room, uh, now let us look into another term, uh, which is uh, what is a library. Library means different things uh, to different uh, people. To some, library is a store where uh, books and other materials are stored. But to others, is a place where people go and consult various uh, learning resources. For those who, uh, for those who are saying that library is a store, uh, this is historical, uh, based on uh, the name itself, because the name, a library is a Latin word, uh, which uh, is the librarian, and which means a place where books and the other materials are stored. Are stored. So that's why there are some people who regard it as a store, is a place where uh, material are stored. Uh, however, with the development of uh, ICT, I emphasize here that uh, the term library has changed, has changed, and it refers to collection of both print, and when we talk of print, we are referring to physical materials and non-printed materials which is digital materials, which are made accessible to the public for either reference or uh, borrowing. Now, library is no longer a, a brick and mortar. It's no longer a brick and mortar. Because we have uh, libraries such as uh, virtual library, we have digital library, yeah, which can be accessed wherever a user is located, provided he has or she has an internet connectivity. Uh, I would like to, to caution that despite of all this de development, uh, the two, the two, whether it is physical or whether it is uh, uh, brick and mortar, uh, they both they both complement each other. So we should, uh, we should not have a misconception that with the coming of ICT, then ICT will uh, place, uh, will place uh, libraries. Rather, they are going to complement each other. Now, uh, let's look into the 
Another term which I would like to share with you is a librarian. Who is a librarian? Anybody can be a librarian? No. This is a profession like any other profession. So who is a librarian? A librarian is a person who works professional in a library. That's why we have certificates, diplomas, up to PhD. Again, the library is providing access to information services or materials to those uh, with information needs. In addition, librarians provide instructions on how information uh, is accessed and retrieved. Many libraries, including the OUT library, they have an information reverse training whereby uh, users are taught on how to access uh, different, to access and manipulate uh, uh, different sources of information in order to support their learning uh, process. Now, another trend is information specialist. Who is an information specialist? An information specialist is the one who provides expertise. Is the one who provides an expertise in acquiring, in acquiring, evaluating. And when we say evaluating, that means it means that you evaluate information to switch your needs. If you are a university, uh, you are a tertiary, uh, if you are offering a university level education, then you have to evaluate the type of materials. And if it's a school library, then they have the category of information which suits their need according to their, uh, their curriculum. But also, there is an issue of searching information resources in various formats. This, this basically uh, the function of an information specialist or a profes professional in information uh, science. Now, in your own words, I would like you all to describe the concepts of library and information science. The concepts of library and information science. Are they similar? Are they different? Then, you need to uh, differentiate library science are uh, from information science. Are they similar or are they different? What are similar features between library science and information science? Uh, in this lecture, uh, we have examined the meaning of library information science. And in the next lecture, uh, we focus on the historical development of library science. Uh, of which I encourage all of you uh, to, 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 to attend and listen. Uh, if there is any question or suggestions, please don't hesitate uh, to consult me or don't uh, hesitate uh, to ask. In this lecture, we have examined the meaning of library and information science. And the next lecture, we will focus on the historical development of library science. Uh, if you have any question, please, or suggestion, uh, you should not hesitate to uh, consult me. Uh, my email address is provided uh, in the Google system. But as, as a word of advice, I encourage you to read the resources which are available through the library webpage in order to support your learning. But also, we have a Moodle system of which I encourage each of you to visit it regularly and contribute to discussion. Contribute to discussion. And at the end, 
of uh, each lecture, you have been provided with the link as well as the resources to supplement the materials uh, which are available uh, in the world. It is my expectation that uh, you are going uh, to use the available resources in order uh, to achieve your academic endeavors. I wish you all the best. Everything is possible. Please play your part. Thank you very much for listening.